Hi there, this is Katie with the channel Weather Shaman. Welcome if you're new, and a big hello to my returning subscribers. Uh, today I have planned for you a Spirit Animal Oracle card reading for the week of May 4th. I'm going to be using the same Spirit Animal Oracle card deck that I normally use. The Spirit Animal Oracle by Colette Baron reed for spirit animal guidance and inspiration for this week of May 4th. There's so much going on in the world right now and there's so many changes happening on a collective level as well as on an individual level. So sometimes it helps to just tap in to the spirit world and the natural world and see what messages are coming in that can benefit us all. It can help us grow and evolve into the best versions of ourselves. The natural world has much to share. You may be able to hear the birds singing and chirping behind me. They're just singing a song and I have found that the frequencies that birds emit when they sing and chirp are very healing. They can really help heal us on a deep soul level. That is why I love to go outside in nature as much as possible, for nature has a natural remedy and cure to every disease on this planet. So get outside in nature this week of May 4th if you can, and just enjoy the sunlight, enjoy the squirrels, the birds, and any other natural wild animals that you may encounter. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and get started with this reading. I have this beautiful quartz crystal that has been charging the deck like usual, and this helps open up my channel for divine love and wisdom for these readings. And actually, before we get started, I am going to just quickly play this heart chakra singing bowl a few times so we can become more open and receptive to the messages that would like to come through. You can just take a few deep breaths along with me. Breathe in. Hold. And breathe out and release. Now breathe in. Hold it. And breathe out and release. One more breath together. Breathe in. Hold it. And breathe out. Okay. Now, hopefully you're feeling more open and receptive to these messages that would like to come through as our heart chakra has been open and activated together. Dear angels, archangels, and ascended masters of the highest Christ of light. All right, I just had some cards fly out together. Let's see what we have. We have five cards. The first one is Wolf Spirit, turn knowledge into wisdom. Okay, so the worldly knowledge is finite. However, divine heavenly wisdom is infinite or infinite. So we can turn the knowledge of this world into divine heavenly wisdom if we just learn to shut off the news report shut off the tv and the media and learn to go within for all of the answers for all the answers are truly within not without okay and as within so without so whatever we believe to be true ends up manifesting in our external reality as well which is why it's so important to take time to just take a time out go into prayer and meditation and listen to that divine wisdom that's trying to come through, okay? Many times we know the answers and we intuitively feel something is right, but then we'll hear something on the outside that will make us second guess ourselves or question ourselves or doubt ourselves. And that's when we really have to be careful. So always trust your intuition, always trust your instincts and trust that the divine is sending you wisdom, okay? Once again, the knowledge of this world, okay? is finite okay it has limits and it's not always true on all quantum leaps and timelines so we need to really turn within tune within and listen to divine wisdom and the answers that are coming through from the heavenly realms okay so turn earthly knowledge into divine heavenly wisdom 
And then we have Stag Spirit, which says, take the lead. Time to step up and take a leadership role. Time to lead others. Is there a project or an activity that you have been putting off for a long time that you wish to step into now? Is there something in your local community that you wish to see, but nobody has stepped up to uh, lead it yet? Maybe you can be the leader. You can be the one to step up and make a change and make things happen. That could also be online, virtually. If there's an online face Facebook group that you wish to start, or an online collaboration of sorts that you wish to begin, or a YouTube channel that you wish to start, any form of collaboration would be very beneficial at this time. Take the lead and know that you are a strong leader. More than likely, if you're watching this, you may doubt that at times, but don't because you are a strong leader. And all it takes to be a leader is determination, wisdom, love, and having a strong passion for something. Take lead in something that you really enjoy and have passion for and share it with others because it will inspire others. It will inspire others to step up as well for we are all one and we need to all help motivate each other at this time to get out of this funk and to get out of isolation and loneliness. We need to come together right now and unify as one. We are stronger in numbers. And I'm hearing the Beatles song once again, come together right now, okay? Now is the time to come together, take the lead together to create a new earth, a new beautiful heaven on earth, okay? So let's focus on positive outcomes and positive growth and change for everyone, for the collective and for all of us as individuals. We need to all be the change we wish to see, right? Thank you, Gandhi, for that amazing quote. <laughs> And then we have Bobcat Spirit, which says, life is a mystery. Isn't that true? You know, sometimes we are just not meant to know all of the answers. I have been down several rabbit holes, several conspiracy theories. I have researched night and day for years. And I finally got into a place where I just kind of trot along in life just appreciate nature and I'm not so much trying to hunt down all the answers anymore and all of the secrets of the universe. Yes, I still like to research for fun sometimes, but what I've learned is that all those answers are truly within, not without, okay? So turn within, go into prayer and meditation, go outside in nature by yourself and meditate under a tree and look within for all of the secrets of the universe. Look within for all of the answers. And look within, finally, to listen to what your soul is calling you to do on a deeper level during your time here on Earth, okay? And just know it's okay for us to not know the answers to every single thing. It's all right. It's okay to have a little bit of mystery. Sometimes it makes life more exciting to not know it all. That's what I've learned. And then we have pig spirit, which says, use your mind wisely. Okay, our minds are very powerful. Our thoughts are very powerful. So if you're having any depressing, anxious thoughts, or you're feeling bummed, and you're having a lot of negative uh, self-talk about yourself, do the best you can to get out of that as fast as possible by listening to positive affirmations on YouTube, uh, healing frequencies and music like nature music, or 432 hertz or 528 hertz love frequency music and also you can write down positive affirmations such as I am love I am beautiful I am smart I am successful I am healthy I am safe I am resourceful I am manifesting a beautiful loving future I am creative Okay, really learn to talk to yourself positively at this time. Even though you may not believe those things right away, if you repeat the positive affirmations daily enough, your subconscious mind will begin to believe them as truth. Okay, so it's about reprogramming our subconscious minds from a place of negativity and limiting belief systems to positivity and limitless, open-minded belief systems that allow us to grow and flourish into the best versions of ourselves. So be gentle with yourself and be sure that you're feeding your soul, your eyes, and your ears with positive, uplifting music, positive, uplifting TV shows and movies. Be sure that you're staying away from anything negative, heavy, or violent Can that because that can really zap the subconscious mind. So just be sure you're tuning into positive people, places, and things that lift you up and that are energy generating rather than energy depleting, okay? 
and we have wasp spirit. It says sometimes life stings. Wasps are very powerful spirit creatures is what I've learned. And it's funny this came up because uh, one of the kids that I'm tutoring in math just realized the other day that there's a few little wasp nests outside uh, my front door <laughs> to my apartment. They're tiny little nests though. They're not really big. And this is the first time in my life I wasn't scared of them. I actually just admired what they were creating. Their nests are really intricately designed and there's a lot of sacred geometry in them. And they're just doing their own thing, minding their own business, not bothering anybody. And that's pretty cool because in the past, I was always really fearful of wasps. I was always terrified of them. But now I'm kind of just at peace with them because I see they're just kind of doing their own thing. And this is all about being a master builder okay wasps are natural master builders they know exactly what it is they wish to create and they're very intricate in their designs and they create their nests and they create a solid foundation so that they can bloom and multiply and go forth and it does say sometimes life stings so yes you may be going through some hardships right now or some obstacles or some intense heavy things in your life but just know this too shall pass Okay, it's temporary, it's not permanent, and everything is going to be okay. All is truly well. Just know you can always pray and meditate for comfort. You can reach out to friends and loved ones and people that you are close to, that you trust, and just be honest with them about what's going on and what's concerning you. And just open up, because pain shared is pain lessened. So it's okay to talk to people about your vulnerabilities, as long as you trust them, of course. All right, so just know all is well and this too shall pass. And then we have owl spirit, which says you see clearly now. Okay, this goes perfectly with this year of 2020. For this year of 2020 is all about 2020 vision. All of us seeing everything clearly, seeing reality for what it truly is, seeing beyond the veil, beyond illusion, and beyond all falsehoods okay this is about seeing things from a higher broader perspective and looking at the big picture looking at why is this happening on a collective level around the world right now this pandemic what are the positives that can come out of this darkness how can we unify together on a more strong deep level how can we grow in love and consciousness together at this time it's all about expanding our consciousness, expanding our awareness, and growing in unconditional love and connection together as one, okay? So you will begin to see clearly now truth and reality for what it truly is and what is truly important in life, okay? Beyond the material 3D matrix realm, you will begin to see that love and unity and connections and harmony and balance are what truly matters in this worldly experience for we are all multi-dimensional spiritual beings having a physical human experience and never forget that you are far more powerful than what you've been taught you are far more powerful than what you've been told so clear out any old limiting belief systems that are negative that are heavy that are weighing you down brush them out and reprogram your subconscious mind with positive uplifting affirmations and new positive open-minded belief systems that will allow you to grow and evolve into the best version of yourself so you can be like a butterfly flying off into your new reality that you wish to create. You are a beautiful, beautiful soul and I am so grateful to you for tuning into this video. I'm gonna quickly re recap the animals that came out for this week. Once again, we have wolf spirit, turn earthly knowledge into divine love and wisdom. And we have stag spirit that's motivating you to take the lead and step up and lead others and speak your truth. And we have bobcat spirit, which remind us that life is a mystery. And then we have pig spirit, which is reminding you to use your mind wisely, focusing on positive, uplifting people, places and things and positive affirmations and wasp spirit reminding us that yes sometimes life stings but it's only temporary and this too shall pass and we are moving into a more beautiful happy uplifting future together that we are co-creating that's going to be based in more love equality harmony and justice and then we have owl spirit which is reminding us that we will begin to see clearly now with 2020 vision as we move forth in this 
new year of 2020 together, raising in consciousness, raising in awareness, and raising and ascending in unconditional love and light. I am sending you an abundance of peace, love, and light from me to you. Go forth in perfect love, harmony, balance, and alignment this week of May 4th. And shout out to all the mothers out there since I believe Mother's Day is on May 10th this year, which is going to be on the Sunday of this week for this video. So happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. Shout out. You are appreciated. And mom, I love you. Happy Mother's Day to you. Thank you so much for all that you do. I love you. And I love all of you tuning into this video. Thank you again. Namaste.